This sports segment of Naperville News 17 is brought to you by Naperville Bank and Trust. Well, Bonzi Valley was the only team to beat Naperville Central all season. Now in the quarterfinals, the Red Hawks must deal with their kryptonite. It's also a rematch of last year's playoffs, a game the Warriors once led 14-10, only to lose 24-14. And in the first quarter, the Red Hawks already knocking on the door. Connor Joyce hands off to Matt Lehman on the end of round, and the guy that makes his living as a running back is also quite capable of forcing fumbles, too. Max Irie relieves the pressure. In fact, his play helps relieve it for the rest of the half. Only a field goal is scored, that's by Wabonzi, and so it takes a 3-0 lead into the locker room. To quarter three, the Red Hawks threatening again, but the Warriors' defense is elastic enough to absorb the charge. Joyce gets creative, but Wabonzi would have none of it. They stop him on fourth down. And with a new possession means new opportunities for Irie, breaks the tackle off the edge and picks up 53 yards, which sets up the first touchdown of the game, driven forward by Irie himself, extending the lead to 10 to nothing. And here's the last score of the game. Jack Connolly, who only threw six times helps to keep that pace by rushing again. And for a score, 17 to nothing Warriors, and for the first time ever, two teams with four losses each will face off in an IHSA 8A semifinal. Marist will be the opponent. That's not the only playoff rematch available for us to recap. Bennett Academy Hockey, still in its regular season, was in rematch mode as well. Taking on New Trier Green, the same team they played in last year's state semifinal. Pick it up with Bennett on a five on three. It's rare to see a scoring chance for the team on the short end of a two-man advantage, but it happens here with this pretty individual effort from New Trier's Charlie Burton. Unfortunately for Burton, though, Jake Barnhart doesn't cooperate. One of seven first period saves for him, and the brilliance is all for naught. The saves wouldn't end there. Watch Barnhart again in the second period, acting like Dominic Hasek. Adds 10 more saves, Dominant goaltending continues from both sides all the way through overtime. So the game goes to a shootout. Sadly, no three on three, but whatever. Here's the winning goal, Sam Wojciechowski, backhand, forehand, twine. Red Wings take the technically scoreless game. One week away from the state meet at Nutrier, it's a tune-up for the Red Hawks diving phenom, Sidney Dussel. This tune-up takes place at Nequa Valley. It's the Nequa Valley sectional, after all, starting the thing with a one-and-a-half somersault talk for 44 points. Her second dive, a reverse one-and-a-half somersault with a one-and-a-half twist, 499.80, wins the meet and earns her third consecutive trip to state. Last note to end on, Wabonzi Valley Hockey making several plays in a whopping 8-1 win over Lincoln Way this weekend, so the Warriors definitely a team to watch for on the hockey scene. That's your look at sports. Natalie, back to you.